Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, everything, all the steps after we made the paper mache cast of my head. What you're about to see is uh, I'm going to be talking through everything I did, through the whole process. This is not uh, the definitive guide uh, on how to do everything step by step. Um, you know, take it for what you will, use it as a set of guidelines, I guess. Uh, I'll show you where I fucked up, what to do, what not to do. But add your own spin on it, you know, do more research, but, you know, you could use this as a set of guidelines, I guess. The sculpture, I got the styrofoam head, I ordered that. So, I don't know, I just took clay, warmed it up with a hair dryer, slapped it on, and uh, just started working my way from the front to the back. Uh, just added a hulking mass of clay on here, did the straps. I basically just eyeballed everything. You could do that, take measurements, do it accurately. I don't, I don't fucking care, do whatever suits you. So yeah, and I did my own little take on the mask. It's, I tried to stick as faithful to the actual vein mask as possible. But uh, I had my own little take like for the vent. I just used uh, craft sticks. Same on the other side. Yeah, but all this tubing to do it with just clay, that would be just murder, and I'm not a masochist, so I decided to just use actual tubing. <sighs> Same for the tubing on the bottom. This part over here, it has this texture. Um, I just did that by taking some kind of metal grate thing with the, a similar pattern and pressing really hard against it. It came out, it came out good at first, but then Making the mother mold for the front, I messed up twice. I had to re-sculpt that. It looks a little faded. You should know how to sculpt when you're doing this, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is not a sculpting tutorial. <laughs> if you don't know how to sculpt, that's your ass. Um, you know, if, if, if this is, it really isn't a sculpting tutorial. It's, it's, it's how to make this shit. Right, so I bought two products from Smooth On. Um, actually, counting mold release a couple. Um, so I bought Rebound 25, which is the stuff that I used to make the mold out of, and I also bought Task 14, which is what the final mask is made out of. This is what the Rebound 25 looks like at the very end. This is what, this is what the fucking mold was made out of, this stuff. I brushed this on in layers directly onto my sculpture. I took clay, I made a line across, made a barrier with the clay, because you have to do it in two parts, because if you made it in one part, you would never fucking pull it off. When you put a barrier on, that masks off a little bit of your sculpture. If I had the barrier, and I did this side, left the barrier there, and then just did the other side, that's half an inch of space that I'm losing on my final piece because the rebound is never going to be on that half of inch of space. That's why you put the barrier on, do this side, and then put it behind that line, and then do the other side. Took this clay, made a thick barrier. So, that all around, make sure your sculpture is done. I made sure it was done. Any final touch-ups on it, did it, whatever. I drew a line all the way across. Everything past that line, I had the clay behind it, and then everything past that line, I brushed down the Rebound 25. It comes in two parts. Part A, part B, mix it equally. Um, the first layer, you want to take a fine brush, take a fine brush, um, get in every single crevice, just get it all covered. Thin layer, first layer, very thin. Make sure you get everything covered so you get all the detail and leave it, let it sit for like an hour. You should touch it in an area that's not so freaking visible. Um, so like it's just, like it's tacky, it doesn't come off on your finger. You're good to go. You can go ahead and then brush on the second layer. And you wanna buy the thickener. So I bought the thickener, added a couple drops. I don't know, I was, I was pretty liberal with it. Add a couple drops, brushed it on, wait like 10-15 minutes or so and then hair dry it 
all around until until you get that tacky effect again. And then another layer and another layer, same way. Mix the stuff, parts A and B, thickener, brush it on. Four or five layers should be enough. By the way, the, the time that you have to work with it is about 20 minutes. So when you mix it, don't mix a huge batch of the stuff because then it's gonna it's gonna set and you're gonna be working with like really thick, it's just not gonna be good. Just mix a good amount that you're gonna have enough for that layer that you're doing and then mix more. So after I brushed on the Rebound 25 stuff, five layers, this is what happened, this is what it looked like. Fit perfectly. See, passed right there, the line, bam, that's where it was. You see in the video, the eyes right here, there was a huge amount of space here between where the nose would be, the top over here, that bridge. You want to have this looking as just smooth, without no detail, nothing. You can't, so you can't see any of the sculpture. If you have a lot of crevices and caves, cave-ins and stuff, when you put the plaster on, you're not going to be able to get the shit off. If you have the cave-ins on the front over here, like, let me show you. The clay over here, like, there's a, there's a lot of it, and where, it, where the nose area is, it goes, like, inwards. You know, if my rebound is brushed on too lightly, that you're still able to see all this stuff, then when I pour the plaster in, when it's finally solid, the plaster, there's just no way to pull it out. You're gonna have to crack it to get it off. Like, it needs to slip off easily. There can't be, like, intricate detail. I had to make my mother mold three fucking times, because the first two times, I didn't understand what I was doing wrong. I was trying to remove it. It cracked the first time on, like, seven pieces. Second time again. And then it hit me that, oh, I had all these cave-ins. So then I had to put on more rebound and, you know, get that fifth layer in there and make sure everything was covered. This is finally how I, after I brushed on the last layer, I could have actually gone further and made this whole part on level with this and that, but that wasn't really necessary. There were no cavens, so it was just, it slipped off very easily. When you put the plaster on, make sure you go a little bit past that little barrier you make because then in the very end you want, you're going to be combining the two mother molds, the front and the back. Which you're going to be doing separately by the way. Don't do the mother mold in one piece because it's going to be hard. You know, common sense, you won't be able to get the shit off. The reason why you want to have a mother mold is because if you just had the rebound, it would not hold the shape because this is rubber material, this is stretchy rubber material. And when the Task 14, when it cures, it would just blow up in all kinds of proportions uh, and your final piece would look like crap. So that's why you have the mother mold, so that it will maintain its shape and size. What I did was, I had my whole sculpture done, so I took saran wrap, put it around the back, taped it like a motherfucker, put that shit on the back, Make sure I had cushioning over here. I took a bunch of plastic bags and stuffed with plastic bag, more with plastic bags, inception. Imagine that's cushioned right now. So, take the plaster, you mix it. I watched a YouTube video on it. We'll link that in the description. I don't want to take credit for what the guy showed in the video. Anyways, so you have the plaster. Um, this was my first time working with it. Uh, so, I don't know, what I did is I waited until it was like a putty almost so that I could sort of move it around a little bit. You know, I, I didn't want it to be fully liquid. Use the gauze strips, put some gauze down everywhere so it could kind of just hold it in place a little bit. Put more plaster on top and as it starts to get harder, kind of just smooth it out so that finally, you know, it looks like this. Same thing with the back, clay barrier. I was out of NSP at this point, so I went down to fucking CVS and I bought this cheap shit for five dollars, which is very overpriced. A bunch of Crayola nonsense. Brush on a very light layer of rebound at the very start. Give it an hour to set. You know, cure, whatever. 
and then start brushing on heavier. Now, I don't know why my back was fucked up, but my mother mold from my back is an asshole and it cracked in 10 pieces. At this point, since I fucked up the front twice, I did not have enough plaster to redo the back, so I just had to work with this. And I, I got a hot glue gun, and I glued together these 10 different pieces, and this shit fell apart like 20 fucking times. This is a motherfucker, and um, I just had to use it. So here's, after I had the mother molds for the front and the back, here's how everything happened. That's pretty much the gist of it. Bam, that's the head, rebound 25, mother mold, front, see it's all cracked, the fucking pieces had to reconstruct it, and the front is perfect, I did the front perfectly. The task 14 would have been leaking out of my rebound mold, even after I had the mother mold on it, because my mother molds were not perfect. This is my first time working with all this stuff, so it was hard. So what I had to do was... Hold one of this, one of these, like that, and then take crazy glue, and then crazy glue all these seams together. And then afterwards I could rip it apart, because I, I don't know why, but crazy glue didn't take to it so well. So I could rip it apart pretty easily, actually. But for the duration of time that I was casting it, it served its purpose. So I put this inside, make sure it was in there perfectly. Crazy glue that on. Other half of the mother mold. So this is how it was afterwards. This was crazy glued. This was all inside, it was one piece. And the mother mold, you need to hold this together. Probably better than I held it together. But what I used was one of these that I found in my dad's closet. And I use this belt that I'm wearing right now. Wear a hoodie, long sleeves, gloves, very important. I didn't wear gloves because I'm an idiot and I managed to use up all my gloves before the most important part, what I needed them for. This is my respirator, bought at Home Depot for $35. It was funny, that I was originally gonna make my Bane mask out of this, decided not to do that shit. But this is the respirator, bam, put that shit on. Straps, I'm not gonna fucking put it on. But that's the respirator, want to be wearing that. Make sure if you buy the same one, read the instructions, clip on these freaking filters or whatever. Protect your eyes if you're paranoid that you're going to get the Task 14 in your eyes. That, actually, yeah, protect your eyes, that would be dangerous. Spray mold release on the rebound. Mold release liberally everywhere inside. Cover, if you can't get in crevices, brush it on. The inside of the rebound mold. Ease Release 200 is what I used. And I mixed together the Task 14. Also two parts. This part is complicated. You have to measure it by weight. You want to get a gram scale for when you mix together the Task 14. I recommend an electric gram scale. Very important. You want to be precise with these measurements. Also did this in layers. Now, uh, I did what's called hollow casting. Hollow casting, slush casting, uh, different bunch of different terms for it basically what you're doing is you're you're pouring the stuff inside mix enough for one layer the task 14 you don't have much time to work with it I think you have 10 minutes 10 minutes is the set time right after you mix it pour it inside and this pretty much I was holding it like this like that and moving it around moving it around make sure it got everywhere doing this it was dripping everywhere so and my I didn't crazy glue it like super perfectly and it dripped it got all over my floor make sure you cover your floor in newspaper so after the first layer I set it down mixed together another batch and then it's rinse and repeat for three more the task 14 sets quickly it cures quickly 45 minutes is the cure time but after I was done with this, I just set it down, I went to sleep, I woke up, it was perfect. Removed the mother molds, and then I just had the Rebound 25, and inside was my mask. Bam, this is how it came out. Now it's really thick, 
in the areas where I was setting it down while I was mixing more. See over here is very thick. This is crazy thick. This is probably an inch. Right here we had my head. I mean the styrofoam head was right here because it was also covered in the in the Task 14. We cut out that, cut out this. Me and my friend Josh cut it down. Josh actually did most of the cutting because he's a boss. Josh cut away a lot of this. There was Task 14, it was very thick. Again, very thick on the front. Here we have the neck, whatever. At the seam, there was a bunch. But we cut away a bunch, sanded it down, and at the end, we found out that it was, uh, it was just too small. It wouldn't fit my head. It's not gonna fit me. See, and even if you look, this is where my chin is. My eyes, it won't fit me. Like, we'd have to cut away way too much. It would be very thin. Because I figured if I made it thick enough on each side, then I could, in the end, cut away on the inside, and then if I just cut away enough, it would fit my head right. But to do that, you have to, I would have to have made it half an inch bigger on every side, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't take correct measurements. That's ultimately what screwed me over here. If I took correct measurements, we could have finished this. Um, then I was going to drill holes here, because you could drill the stuff, sand it, paint it, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so this, ultimately we stopped working on it because we decided to go to Comic-Con, not going to waste our time because it wasn't going to fit me in the end. But uh, it was a good experience, I learned how to work with all this stuff, and it was my first time and I think I did alright.